the gold standard for MRI used to be 1.5 Tesla, but now we have a three Tesla magnet, which has twice the signal to noise ratio as a 1.5 Tesla magnet. At El Camino Hospital, we've had three Tesla magnet for quite a few years. Uh, we use it for uh, diagnosing all sorts of brain diseases. Um, it is also very commonly used for musculoskeletal disorders, to look at bones, to look at tendons, to look at joints, and it gives you exquisite detail of uh, the internal structure of the joints. MRI examination typically does not require um, any preparation. Um, for instance, MRI examination of the brain or spinal cord does not require any preparation. We actually are doing a lot of MRI examinations of the prostate gland to look for prostate carcinoma. That may require some uh, patient preparation, uh, but it really depends on a case-by-case -case basis. Um, we have a detailed checklist for patients uh, of things that they have to do the night prior so that they can you know, get a good study uh, the morning off uh, or the day off for prostate MRI. MRI examinations generally tend to be longer uh, as opposed to, for instance, CT, which is much quicker. Patients have to lay on the table uh, anywhere from half an hour to an hour, depending on what kind of exam they are having. Um, most patients who are undergoing an MRI examination, uh, they do require contrast as well. So we may either place an IV or we can give them contrast intravenously. For patients who cannot tolerate uh, the three Tesla MR scanner because uh, of uh, claustrophobia, we also uh, offer a 1.5 Tesla scanner, which is a little bit more open. And we do have, you know, goggles for the patients so that patients are viewing videos of their choice or whatnot during the exam and they're less bothered by the examination.